Yeah, we want to win. We want to win every game we play. We want to win a championship every year, just like every team. So the last game of the season, we lose. Uh, but the beauty of uh, our profession is uh, we get up and we get up and keep going. You know, we uh, everybody on this team is uh, works extremely hard. They care about the game. Uh, so you know, we get ready for for next year. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kevin, I'm curious. A, you guys were logging a lot of minutes to stay in this game and to put your guys, put yourselves in position to win. Uh, how much do you think that workload played a role in, I think, one of 12 in shooting in overtime? Is that a matter of fatigue or something else other, other than that? You got to give credit to the Milwaukee Bucks. They're a great, great team. We got a good chance to win a championship. Um, um, the, the story should be about them and how well they played this series, um, how well they play all, all year. Um, you know, we um, we got good looks there in overtime. Uh, we just didn't knock them down. But respect to the Milwaukee Bucks and how they prepare, how they challenged us all series and made adjustments all series, um, we got nothing but respect for this ball club. Bruce Beck, NBC New York. Kevin, you gave everything you, you could in this series. You... Uh... You put this team on your back. Does does any of that temper the hurt that you feel right now? Not at all. Who cares? Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, you got a lot of big baskets from Blake and Bruce. If you could just kind of speak to what you saw from both of them tonight. Yeah, I mean, um, they made shots for us when we needed it. Um, they got us, got us off to a good start. Um, I had so much fun playing with Blake and Bruce. You know, they make the game so much easier for everybody. They, you know, physical presence is, and Bruce being a six three guard, six four guard, mixing it up in a paint like that. Blake coming off so many injuries and giving us his all starting for us at the center in the playoffs. You know, I got a number of respect for those guys, and it's a it's a joy and honor to take the court with them every day. And if I could just follow up, I mean, it, with a, this is a crazy season like this, how quickly does your mind shift to, to next season, or do you give yourself a break after the, the wild, uh, however many months it's been with all this? I don't even know. I wasn't even planning on losing, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even know how I'm going to feel. Um, I'm always thinking about our team and how we can get better and, uh, and what we could do individually, you know, just wait for uh, – I don't want to take, take a few few days off. And... Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kevin, uh, Steve commented after the game about the sacrifice that everybody made and the character they showed. When you look over this season, what will stand out about it to you, you know, as you look over all the adversity that you faced? I mean, every team went through adversity this year. And I respect the whole league for how they just, you know, everybody, every player in the league going through pro COVID protocols, every guy that's been injured who, who played in the bubble and came back for a quick turnaround. Uh, you know, guys have been in and out the lineup throughout the whole league all year, and we still put a show on for the fans. Like, I'm just proud of the league in general, and especially our team, because uh, I'm in there every day. But I'm sure other teams have been through the same stuff that we've been through throughout the year. So. Uh, I'm just I'm just proud as a league that we got guys that uh, come out there and, and play great basketball every night. We put a show on for the fans in the playoffs, every team. So, you know, it's one of those things where uh, we dealt with this season and uh, we took it head on and everybody just were professionals the whole year. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, uh, I know you guys like to say next man up, but, you know, when how much does not having Kyrie and then not also having a healthy James dictate what you guys are able to do out there on the floor? I oh, mean, we, um, it's, it's, I can't even speak about how much we miss uh, Kyrie out on the floor and how much we miss James to start the series. And, you know, seeing him, I could go for 40 minutes on both of those two on how much they care about us and how much they put their bodies on the line and help us out as a team, Kyrie had a gruesome ankle injury and he was thinking, he was thinking about you know when is the, the when when could he play next and that shows that he cares about us so much James playing on one leg came out there and gave it his all 48 minutes in game 5 40 last game and then for 50 tonight you know 
there's nothing but respect and love for those two guys. We missed them out there, um, but we still had a chance to win. Back to Brian Lewis. Hey, Kevin, a lot of you know, contenders like Milwaukee, like Philadelphia, had a, a cohesion edge because they were running it back. I'm curious, whatever you guys are feeling now, whatever pain you guys are feeling now, uh, is that going to be something that's going to be able to fuel you next year when your guys are running it back? I mean, I think every guy's fueled by they they get their they they bring their own juice every day. I mean, of course, the loss is going to be tough, but we got a few more months until next season, and then a whole year until the next playoffs. So, I mean, we're going to be thinking about this, this you know next few weeks. But as we go into the next season, as we start to get into the thick of the next season, we got to it's a it's a we got to turn the page and. Guys got to continue to keep getting better individually. I know continuity is a huge thing in our league because GMs, owners, they move players all the time. Uh, but for uh, for us, we try to, you know, get with each other this summer, keep grinding, and come back next year. Ian O'Connor with the New York Post. Uh, Kevin, that final play of regulation, can you describe making that shot? Did you think it was a three-pointer when it left, and is that really the ultimately the even in defeat the most memorable shot of your career not at all the mo not not even close to the most memorable shot i thought it was a tracy but i was i was a, my big ass foot was a step on the line i, I was just seeing the little screenshot how close i was to end the season off that shot but it wasn't in god's plan and we move on so uh it was a it was a solid shot but i had way bigger shots than that